Hey, it's Alex coming at you, Bath Christian Church. It's a Friday. Um, Mr. Sun back there is smiling. He's he's happy, but outside it has been a total washout this morning. I've never seen so much rain in one hour in Bath. It, it's just crazy, crazy rain. So hopefully it's going to get done what it needs to do, move out, and leave us with a clear pathway for a great sunny weekend. That's what we're hoping. Um, maybe veggie picking this afternoon, not really sure. Mr. Jamie lets us know if it's too wet in the garden, he'll, he'll let us know and I'll text everybody. Um, tomorrow though, we're scheduled nine to 11 for veggie sales, um, at the church. And then the next, of course, continuing Wednesdays, nine to 11. And next Saturday, we're, we, I believe farmer's market's going to be open. So the youth will be there. Um, for veggie sales. If, and if you hear any chirping while we're taping, it's our little bird family that took up residence in our feeder, or not feeder, but our planter out on the front porch. It's Mama and Dad, Carolina Wren, and hear the thunder? Yep, I'm telling you. Mom and Dad, Carolina Wren, have been nurturing their little babies for the last several days, feeding in and out. So that's been a nice distraction um, to see the bird family out on our front porch. So it's weekend, weekend. What's this weekend? Father's Day. This Sunday is Father's Day. So you may already have the perfect gift picked out. And you know what you're going to get. And then you might say, oh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, maybe you need some ideas. Well, let me tell you, when I was a little girl, my dad worked a lot in an office and he wore a suit and tie quite a bit. So me thinking, dad always needed, what? A tie. I got dad a tie. Yeah. And I don't know if he always appreciated it, if, if, if it was meaningful to have a tie every single Father's Day, but I thought it was cool for dad to get a tie. This one's nice. This has got sailboats on it. So anyway, ties. And you may say, well... I don't know about a tie for my dad. He doesn't really dress and need a tie. But, whew, another idea could be a hat. Hmm, who can't use some hats? This one, this hat is a great hat for outdoors, working in the yard, on the boat, mower, whatever. Great hat. And then this hat, who couldn't use one of these? Bath Pirates hat. Oh, yeah, everybody's got to have one of these. And then here's my husband's favorite hat. I have to take care of this one. It's his favorite Newburn hat. It's the red hat with a bear on it. Oh, he loves this hat, so I have to take care of that. You might say, well, I don't know about hats. My dad's got lots of hats, or he doesn't wear a hat. Um, you might say, we well, you know mm, power tools. Dads love power tools. Yeah, lots of different things that they can add to their tool, tool work kits and tool kits or workshops. And then, okay, these, these special lights are great. They are um, kind of these special flashlights, do a lot of cool things and charge them up. And, oh, they're always great to have, great to have. Uh, you might say, well, you know what, Dad? Dad may need some phone accessories. He may need some accessories for the boat. He may need, who knows? It could be a lot of different things. And you may say, well, you know what? My dad and I, we enjoy going out in the yard, shagging down some ball. You may need a new, dad may need a new ball mitt, new ball, other kinds of sporting goods and supplies and things you like. Uh, July 4th is coming up, so you could get something patriotic, some red, white, and blue socks, hat, shirt. Who knows? There's so many choices out there, so many things that you can do. Um, but you know what? Probably the best thing, and I mentioned this, Mother's Day, one of the best things you can do for dad is just to say, I love you, dad. I love you, and I thank you for being my dad and being there for me. Um, and it could be some gifts that you show. You show your love. It could be doing those chores, doing some extra chores, doing chores without dad having to constantly remind you to do them. That would be a great surprise. Or wash the car, wash the truck. Who knows? There's lots and lots of things that you can do to show your love to dad and just say, I love you. Say, I love you. And we're reminded of honoring fathers and mothers in the Ten Commandments that we've been studying. We came together last Sunday and we did a Ten Commandments bingo. We had a lot of fun with that. Man, I found out you guys love some Laffy Taffy. 
if I, I'm just going to keep Laffy Taffy for you because you love that stuff. Um, we also did a trash pickup with the Ten Commandments. And so, commandment, that's number five. Commandment number five from Exodus 20, 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord has given you. Of course, he was talking to the Israelites. But we're reminded in the New Testament, Paul brought that up. He said in Ephesians 6, 2 through 3, Honor your father and mother, which is a commandment with a promise. The promise being it would go well with you and you would enjoy a long life on the earth. So that's what Paul was talking about. He, he brought us back full circle in the New Testament, reminding us about that commandment. So for those of us that we're thinking about our dads, we're thinking about how important our earthly dads are, and then we're also thinking about our Heavenly Father, remembering that our Heavenly Father loved us so much that he sent Jesus to be our Savior. So just thinking about earthly fathers and heavenly fathers, and some of you may say, well, you know what? Um, my, my, my earthly dad is not in my life right now. So you may have um, dads that other people that are father figures in your life. So honor them too. Honor them too. Think about those, um, those men in your life, those granddads or uncles or other people who are fathers to you and, and just serve to, to just have be role models for you in, in certain things. So I think that's it. Father's Day again is coming and we will do want to honor our fathers. So you got time to think about what you're going to get how you're going to show your love. And I um, want to remind you too that this coming Wednesday night, we are going to have a youth and family night. I think I sent some invitations out and we've been uh, doing some texting back and forth, but we're going to gather um, uh, Moshak, weather permitting. We will be outside. If not, we, we use fellowship hall, but we were going to, we're going to do Bible scavenger hunt, um, time permitting, maybe some additional games, and we're going to have a cookout. So we're going to have hot dogs, hamburgers. We're going to be very mindful of physical distancing, and we're going to use safe practices with handling food and, and how we serve. So just want to let everybody know that we're going to be respectful. Uh, again, we are in the pandemic, so just want to let everybody know that. But look forward to seeing you there. Um, we're going to have a good time. And um, again, I just, I just hope and pray everybody has a great Father's Day. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we love you and we praise you, Lord, that even with the rain and thunderstorm that's going on, we know that you're present. We know that you're taking care of us. We hear the chirping of the baby birds. We know that you love them too. Your word says that you care about everything. And we thank you, Lord, that through your love, you showed as our heavenly father, you showed us your love through sending Jesus Christ to be our savior. May we reflect the love of Christ to those around us this week. May we show our love to our dads, uh, to our father figures, to people in our lives that we care about, that, that show us, like my dad helped me to learn responsibility and learning how to be a person uh, of, of integrity. So we thank you for what dads can teach us. We thank you for your many blessings. We love you. We praise you. We honor you today. Um, and we just want to, again, say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. And have a great weekend. And we'll see you till next time.